Hey guys, I'm Philadelphia from facepaintingtips.com and welcome back to the series How Face Painters Can Thrive in Tough Times. This is part six and in this episode we're going to cover seven ways to promote your business online. Now the most obvious way to do this is to of course have your own website but what I'm going to be covering in this episode is seven ways to generate traffic to your website and business. Now if you're not looking at promoting your website and trying to find uh, other sources of traffic to get to your website then you're definitely losing money. So let's put a stop to that and look at number one. This is online signatures. Okay you can have an online signature within your email or any forums that you're part of uh, and it's just one of the most easiest ways to promote your business and it's free. Now if you're not sure what I'm talking about an email signature is just a piece of text and sometimes you can put a picture in it and it will come up at the end of every email that you send out. Same thing with the uh, if you're in a forum. Um, every post that you put up, uh, if you have a signature, it will come up automatically at the bottom of every post that you put up. So, a lot of people just put like, your sincerely than their name. But if you've got a business, you want to be using that space to advertise your business. So, you should be putting something like this. Kind regards, your name, your website, and maybe a short description of what you do. So, it's really easy to do. You set it up once, and then from then on, every email you send out will advertise your business, and every post you put up in a forum. So, if you're part of any forums, like say, parenting forums, or any sort of local council forums, or face painting arts and crafts, definitely a great idea to make sure that your website and business is advertised in that space. Okay, number two is face painter and entertainer directories. Definitely a great place to promote your business. What you can do on these types of websites is post your business uh, name and contact details, your website, your email address, your phone number, a description of your services and sometimes even photos. Now some are paid services and some are free so definitely check out a couple of these uh, gigmasters.com, partypop.com and snazaroo.us. Number three is online classifieds, just like the directories, a great place to promote your business as well. Similar sort of thing, you can post your business contact details, description of what you do, photos. Some again are paid services and some are free. Uh, I'd suggest going with the free services first um, until you uh, get some gigs and then go for the paid services. Now make sure to use the right keywords in the title, the body text and the tags. This is so that people can, uh, a keyword is just uh, something that somebody would type into the search engines. So something that somebody would type into search engines might be uh, face painter in Sydney. Okay, So that's what they type in if they're looking for you. So you want to make sure you have the keywords face painter in Sydney in your title, in your body text and your tags. Okay, and there are lots of different online classifieds that you can uh, put your details up on. There's craigslist.com, uh, hotfroguk.co.uk, gumtree.com.au, and you can Google to find more. Number four is Google AdWords. This is Google's advertising program. How it works is you bid on a keyword, like say face painter in Sydney, and every time somebody searches that keyword in Google, your ad will show up in the search listings and it will show up on the right side of the page where all the other sponsored listings are. Now the cool thing about it is it's a pay per click system so you only pay when somebody clicks on your ad. So it doesn't matter if your ad shows up like 10,000 times, you'll only pay if somebody clicks on your ad and that means you're only paying for people who actually visit your website so it's extremely cost effective. I'd also suggest that you target your ads to only show in the country that you live in because there's uh, no point in your ad coming up and somebody clicking on it if they're in a different country to you. That's just a waste of your money so you can definitely do that. Target your country or even state in some cases. Number five is the press release. Now, a press release is just a statement that's sent to the media uh, for pub for publicization. Um, so basically, you write up a press release, send it uh, out to the media, and if you're lucky, a newspaper or a, maybe a TV show might pick it up and want to interview you for their uh, TV show or for uh, you know an article in a paper. Uh, you can pay someone to write a press release for you, or you can write one yourself. It's quite easy. Uh, you just, if you're looking for some tips, just Google 
how to write a press release and you'll come up with a lot of articles showing you how you can do this. If you don't know what to write about, it can be about your new face painting service in your area, it could be about a competition that you've just won, uh, a charity event that you've got coming up, you know, just something newsworthy, something interesting and something that is recent. Once you've written the press release, you then need to submit it and you, there are paid services that you can submit it through or there are free services. So I'd, I'd go with maybe with the free service to, services to begin with. And the benefits of using an online press release, even though you might not get picked up by a TV show or a newspaper or anything like that, even if that doesn't happen, you will still show up in Google News, which is great and it will give you more exposure and it will help your website um, rank higher in the search listing. So remember to include your website within the press release, of course. Number six is Google Maps. Now Google Maps lets you find local businesses and view where they are on the map. So you want to be one of those local businesses that are on that map. So to list your business just go to maps.google.com and if you're worried about privacy issues don't worry you can always, always use a PO box address or you can also just place a listing on your street and not actually use your house number or your apartment number. Put a link to your website and your contact details in the description. Make sure to mention your uh, make sure to mention in your description how far you're willing to travel and which areas you cover. That's really and then whenever someone searches for face painter in your city, you will show up in Google Maps and sometimes even in Google searches, which is great and which means you'll get massive exposure on Google and it's completely free. Number seven is YouTube. Now video distribution is one of the best ways to generate traffic to your website and again it's free. This is what you do. Make a video and it could be anything. It could be you painting a child, you introducing yourself, a slideshow of your photos, etc, etc. And make sure you have your website address in the video so that when people watch your video they can see your website. Then you upload it to YouTube and make sure again that you have the right keywords in the title, the description, the tags like I, was, like I mentioned before. And then you want to take those videos that are on YouTube and put them on your website. Okay, This is so important because video lets you create rapport with your audience which will definitely make you stand out in front of the competition. Uh, think about it if a parent goes to so many different face painting websites and they see yours and it's got a video of you and you speaking about your services and they can look at you and hear you talk and uh, look at the way you behave and they can um, see what you'd be like with their kids you're immediately going to stand out in front of the competition and they get to connect with you uh, Oh, in a way that they won't get to connect with uh, all the other face painters because they're not doing what you're doing. So definitely give that a go. It's a great way to get exposure because people can find you through YouTube and through uh, Google but it's also good to have those videos on your website to create connection with the people who have found your website through other ways. Okay, thank you for watching. That's all for today. Please take what you have learned again in this series and try to apply it as soon as you can. And of course, stay tuned for part seven where we'll be discussing seven ways to promote your business offline. Now, it's uh, great to have all the online strategies in place, but if you have both online and offline, you'll be unstoppable. So keep that in mind and also stay tuned for how to start a face painting business a new training manual package uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far in the series then that's great and I'm glad but there's only so much that I could fit into the series and it's only about one tenth of what we've got in the training manual package so it'll be out on Thursday the 29th of January stay tuned for updates and I'll see you on the next episode